Okay, so day 43 solution then. Let's see if we can build my nan a bingo card. I'm gonna start by importing random because we need to generate random numbers. And I'm actually gonna create a subroutine to do that so we can do it in a shorter way. Otherwise this 2D list is gonna look a little bit confusing. So let's get to that first. I'm just gonna call it rand. So I'm going to generate a number which is random.randint random integer between 1 and 90, the highest number we can get in bingo. I'm then just going to return that to the main flow of the program. Back in the main program, I'm going to create my bingo card. Now, it's probably easiest if I do it like this. I can set up the spaces first. So, First line is going to be a random number. That's a random number. Oh, hold on. No, no. I need to get these numbers in, in order first, don't I? So, why did I make this so difficult? <laughs> I think the first thing to do would be to generate a list of random numbers. So, numbers equals a blank list for i in range. See how many numbers I need. Three, six, seven, eight. So I need eight random numbers. Numbers that append ran. So we'll generate random numbers and append them to that list. I need to sort that list in order. So I'm going to introduce you to a beautiful thing now, which is sort. Sort should sort the numbers array into order from smallest to biggest. But let's just print that out to check that's what's actually happening. And there we go. Every time we do it, we'll get a different selection of numbers, but they'll be sorted into the right order. So we need to put that in our bingo card now. So this is where it's going to look a little bit confusing because we still need that series of rows. So we have three rows. So I am going to go out my way to do this to make it a bit easier to see what's going on. And so the first thing is going to be the first three numbers. So that's going to be numbers zero, Numbers one and numbers two. That's the first row. Second row is going to be numbers. Oh, I've got the S on this one. Numbers three. Then the word bingo. That's the center square. The random square bracket here for some reason. And then numbers four. My last line. Numbers five, numbers six, and numbers seven. Let's run that and check we haven't broken anything. Sixteen. Ah, got a comma there that I didn't need. The last line doesn't need that extra comma in it. Oh, I think I'm missing a square bracket as well on the last line somewhere. Maybe. So every row has its square brackets now. Okay, that worked successfully. Let's write a pretty print function to print that out. For I, I have to create my bingo array up here now, aren't I? So this isn't going to change the way the program works. It'll just make a blank one first. So this this subroutine won't freak out. Uh, for row in bingo. For item. In row. Hold on, I've even done that at this point. Let's have a look. I haven't. So I don't need that pretty print function, so I'll chop that out. There we go, our bingo card is being created exactly as we wanted. If we wanted to put that into a nice way, we could write a pretty print function to print the individual rows. So that's no different to stuff we've done before. So we change that to use pretty print, and then you've got the nice bingo card that looks a bit more sensible once it actually runs. Or at least it would if I spelled things correctly. And there we go, hooray, a bingo card.